A new village of 3D printed homes coming soon to the Rogue Valley to help wildfire survivors. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Ethan McReynolds. Access hosted a meeting today to inform Almeda fire survivors about a new 3D printed housing development coming to West Medford. NBC 5's Nick Borden was at the meeting. He has our top story tonight at 6. It is very exciting. The community is ready for these homes. Access hosted a presentation Saturday on the progress of the new 3D printed affordable housing development coming to West Medford. New Spirit Village is set to be the first ever 3D printed housing development in Southern Oregon and will house people displaced by the 2020 fires. It's been a long time since the Almeda fire and people are ready for their forever home, right? They're ready to get back to some sense of normal and to not have um, homes available until two years later is really stressful for people. So we're really excited to be able to have this option. Lupton says the development will have 87 fire resistant 3D printed units on a six acre lot on the corner of Meadows and Lozier Lane. She says the project is well underway with seven units set to be completed by December. They estimate the rest of the homes will be completed sometime next year. One of the unique things is the permanent affordability piece of it. The homes will be forever affordable. They're going to be fire resistant and 3D uh, well printed as well. It's new technology that we'll be utilizing and that will also help to uh, be able to get the homes on the ground faster. She says the homes will remain affordable through a community land trust with the Oregon nonprofit Proud Ground that sells homes below their market value. People at the event say their presentation gave them hope that they could soon own a home of their own. It's been a long wait and a long struggle for everybody, and I can't wait to get into my own place. <laughs> This Nick Borden reporting access says priority will be given to people affected by the 2020 fires, but you don't have to be a fire survivor to apply.